Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome to Mountain Roots. This is the 39th episode in my Exploring Appalachia series, and today I'm looking around Newcastle, Virginia. Newcastle is the only town in the western highlands of Virginia's Craig County. But don't let that fool you, there's a lot here that might actually surprise you. I stop in to talk with longtime local and business owner Rob Carper to learn more about the area. So, so you have a few businesses here in town right about 14 years ago uh opened up subway in town okay and uh you know trying to bring a fast food restaurant to town that was healthy right. or one of the healthier ones out there actually had a few of them a couple more out of town and okay you know decided to sell them and just kind of stay local here in town and right. then decided to open this up it is a agriculture community mm -hmm. so we need somewhere that we can that have to go across the mountain right to get feed uh you know, lots of backyard farmers, yeah. you know, lots of uh, small hobby farmers. You know, they're not they're not getting bulk feeds. You know, sure. delivered in a truck three tons at a time. Sure. So they get need a these place. Fifty pound bag. They can get a bag yeah. or two and then get one in three or four days. Right. Rather than having to go across the mountain. Sure. Like you know, like they used to have to. So why do you think people choose to stay in Newcastle or even move here? That's a good question. Yeah. I mean, you know, we grew up here. It's just a little tight knit community, mm -hmm. you know, that you can know. When you walk down the street, you can yell at somebody across the street and say, hey, how you doing? It's just a very good home feeling. Close knit type community. Yeah. And, I, and you know, I'd want my kids to grow up like that. Yeah. You know, there's lots of things to do here, you know, whether right. you hunt, fish, hike. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of opportunity here right. that doesn't cost money. Sure. You can just go do it. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of, you know, we are, I don't know the percentage, but we're high percentage national forest mm -hmm. in Craig County. So. Yeah, very high, very high. So, you know, it gives those people the opportunity to do that. And, right. And we kind of want to keep it that way. As I drive around exploring Newcastle and the surrounding county, Rob really wasn't exaggerating when he said there's a lot of outdoor opportunities and things to do here. Newcastle and Craig County truly are a hidden gem in the mountains of Virginia. Like Rob had mentioned, nearly three quarters of the county is national forest, offering some unrivaled outdoor recreational opportunities from hiking access on the Appalachian Trail to hunting, fishing, as well as hundreds of miles of forest service roads that present opportunities for trail riding and camping. Soon, I'm told, a new 26-mile biking and hiking trail system, now under development, will connect multiple counties in the near future. Like I hinted at earlier, there are some very unique points of interest about this mountain community that might, well, surprise you. Newcastle is home to one of the top rated glider ports in the United States. The Blue Ridge Soaring Society manages this glider port 
playing host to sailing competitions and provides membership and training for anyone interested in learning to fly, or should I say, sail. in the sport of soaring is more like sailing in the sky in engineless aircrafts or sailplanes. The mountain ridges running through this particular area provide great ridge flights for long cross-country trips and wave flights when the weather cooperates. But before I give you the wrong impression, sophistication and precise instrument panels aren't all you'll find in Newcastle. Driving away from the gladiatorial clash of combative metal on metal and the smell of burning motor oil, along the scenic Route 42 I see signs of the past and one of the oldest continually running general stores around. Newcastle also has intriguing family histories, like the first Virginia Tech student walking some 30 miles out of this mountain valley to Blacksburg to enroll in classes. I've found that Newcastle carries on many agricultural traditions passed down through the generations, like making sorghum molasses. In my interactions with folks here, I've discovered it to be a common trend. Multiple generations sharing their interests, their traditions, and their hobbies. Like this three generation family of racing drivers. Right here's what we mostly done our whole lives, <laughs> was racing. <laughs> Racing and fixing stuff. I've been going to the racetrack since I was old enough to remember. They carried me in the car seat and set me on the trailer and just gets in your blood. The group I race with, it's Virginia Vintage uh, Series. Hunter, we've been go-kart racing and we've been doing really good and Hunter's won some races. But I told Hunter, he's leading the points in his division and I said, you can't slack up now. You know, you got to work hard. And then, you know, I always try to teach Hunter. Well, Hunter's like, I can't do that. And I said, that can't isn't in their vocabulary. Right. You know, we different. do it. Somehow, we, we figure out a way to do it. I've heard it said that tradition isn't the worship of ashes, but the keeping of a flame. I see that alive and well here in Newcastle, and it must be some mixture of the grit and determination of hardworking folks, along with the very unique combination of finds that make this small mountain town truly one of a kind. I hope you've enjoyed this episode because there's more to share about Newcastle in an upcoming show I'm producing for television this year. I know there's incredible interest in the work I'm doing. If you want to also support and help keep me on the road producing this series, there are several ways you can help. Watching, commenting on, and sharing the episodes is always a great starting place. You can also become a channel member on YouTube for as little as a dollar a month. There's also the Super Thanks option on YouTube beneath any video that you watch so that you can donate as much as you like. Facebook has also started a similar feature to the Super Thanks called Stars. A hundred stars equals a dollar and can be donated on videos you watch there. You can also become a monthly patron on Patreon. I have a variety of membership levels set up there. And starting now for the new year, I have a new Riding Shotgun membership level for only $2.99 a month. I do my best to provide extra perks to those who are able to support me financially as channel members or patrons. 
Thanks again for all your interest and support in Appalachia. It's many incredible places, fascinating people, and their remarkable stories. This is all something I think is worth sharing. Thank you.